Like, it tastes like grass. How grass smells when you're cutting it, this is how it tastes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just back off a run. That's why I look a bit flustered, but I'm gonna start the day off. So for breakfast, I have blueberry and apple porridge square things to go. A questionable purple color. I mean, they're purple, they just don't look very appetizing. So yeah, I've just got that. Just some uh, that I knew would go white. Right. I especially after yesterday, that was a bit disastrous. And we've also got plums. We're probably just gonna have a couple of these, that, and then just some water because very dehydrated. Also, after um, I made the pancakes and stuff yesterday, I went in the living room, let my siblings taste them and stuff. So no one was a fan because of the texture, which I don't blame them. It was chewy. It was very weird. It was like a bit rubbery. But my brother decided to tell me that they weren't blue. They were definitely blue. The one thing yesterday that I could say was blue, besides obviously like the things I bought, I mean, even still my dad called me out on this movie and said that this movie was green. The pancakes were blue. And I just, tell me in the comments that the pancakes were blue. Or if you don't think the pancakes were blue. But either way, this challenge is making me feel like I might be slightly colorblind. But they were blue, they, they were definitely blue. They were blue. Anyway, that aside, let's go have some breakfast. I'm going to sit in the garden because I'm sweating. I'm sure that my dog will probably join us because he loves attention. Again, I'm not a big fan of blueberries at all. So, this might be a bit gross, but it smells more of apple, so I think it'll be fine. Oh, it's so hard. It's so glad. Flavour's nice though. So it's like the only neutral green bars, the like cereal bars with the they're a bit cakey and they have like the jam in the middle, you can now get a strawberry or apple. It tastes a bit like the apple ones. Come here. Oh, thank you. You still not having any? Last night as well, when um I'd got all the stuff for today. My sister also called me out and said a lot of it's pink. But it's purple. I the varying shades of purple and tones, but I'm, I think the purple. Let's try a plum. Why are these? I'm sure these are meant to be soft. They're all right. The skin's very tangy. I'll probably have just sort of one of these. Go for a shower. And that's probably about it. I'm just chill this morning. I'm around today. I've got a new PB for a while. I got. Well, that was sad. I got 11.25, which isn't fast. I know it's not fast, but considering I started off at like 17 minutes after the accident, we're definitely moving in the right direction. Yeah, so that's them done. So we're back. Finished. So I will see you guys at lunchtime. Okay, so we're just about to head out, but I'm still hungry and it's not quite lunchtime. So I'm gonna have the other one of these porridge to goes. Turns out you meant to microwave them, so it might be why it was so dry this morning. So we'll see if it's any better in the microwave. Nah, it won't be that long. It says that you only meant to microwave them for 10 seconds and it feels a lot softer, so. Yeah, possibly just missed a trick this morning. Hmm. Yeah, I just ate it wrong this morning. It was so dry. <laughs> Sorry. You want to taste it? No, it's pure. It's nice though. Ah, pop. Ah. Mm -hmm. Microwave. Oh, I'm on ball. But yeah, that was all. See you at lunch time. Okay, so I'm back. I'm starving. So lunch, to be fair, it isn't that exciting. I mean, I'm very curious to try it, but it's just an instant. It's called Wicked Purple Rice by Wicked Kitchen. It's a blend of purple beetroot, rice, and broccoli with pum uh, pumpkin seeds, garlic herbs, and white wine. So it sounds nice. I mean, I'm saying that I don't like beetroot, I don't think. But yeah, so it's just 
I just have to add hot water to it, I believe. Oh, it smells cheesy. This is what it looks like before water is added to it. Oh, it's popping. So we're just going to leave that and that's it. Let you guys see my outfit for the day because it's very fitting. for a cardboard tub. It still smells cheesy, but there's no cheese in the ingredients, so I'm a bit curious. I don't know if it has a flavour. Okay, so while we're waiting for that done, I will let you know the facts for this video. Purple in the flag stands for spirit. In 2001, it was as if the nail was being born, basically. Lesbian, gay and bi people were allowed to start openly serving in the forces. And in 2004, no, in 2013, the Marriage Act was passed, but it wasn't until 2014 that the first gay marriage in the UK happened. On the 29th of March, there was a lot of marriages all across the UK. And yeah, that's it for the facts for this video. Okay, so this is the finished product. Okay, so even with my apparently colourblind eyes, this isn't the strongest pink purple colour I mean. Yeah. Like it does have a tinge of purple. Why life on? I feel like the overwhelming colour, probably definitely more pink, but it does say purple. So it lied. But anyway, let's try it. Just doesn't smell nice at all. I mean, it's edible. We also have them for a snack. Some baked beetroot crisp. You see the running theme of the beetroot today. Beetroot with sweet chili jam flavouring. Oh, they smell nice. I feel like these are pink. <laughs> They're really nice. Mmm. Like, really good. I feel like I'm just going to retitle the video eating pink food for the day because these are a bit questionable but i'll have 10 out of 10 recommend definitely i probably rate it like a four but yeah i'll more than like the finish these have a bit more of that and then catch up with you guys at tea time okay so it's tea time um really sad because my family all got papa john's and i'm about to eat beetroot we're gonna be having beetroot wraps and they are more purple in person. They do look slightly pink, but they are definitely more purple in person. Beetroot falafel, some turkey salami, and some of the cabbage that we boiled yesterday. And then attempt to make a sauce with beetroots. I'm gonna blend them up and season them because if not, it's gonna be a very, very dry situation. Oh, they're hard. I mean, they smell like normal wraps. Maybe some turkey salami. Then probably beetroot. No. Then we'll fry the cabbage off. And the beetroot. Oh, this smells nice. Mmm. If it all else fails, I will be eating turkey salami for tea. I'm probably just gonna chop one of these up. Well, one of these, you didn't see what I lifted up. A beetroot up. Maybe a bit of onion. Okay, so there's the beetroot. Oh, it's dripping. Very dark purple. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm not a fan of that smell. Okay, so I've got a clove of garlic, but I'm also going to chop and add to the sauce. I'm saying this as if I have a clue what I'm doing. Oh, that doesn't smell nice either. I'm also going to add a bit of salsa to it just for like an actual flavour. I think that should be enough. That's what it looks like so far. 
purple it also looks red on camera it's a really dark purple i feel like all i've been doing in this video is convincing you everything i'm eating is purple but they actually are well, i think you can see it a bit more if i screw on the spoon nope that still looks red i feel like they're done oh they're really soft i thought they were going to be like firm to like cut drizzle some of this gonna be a bit fancy okay so this is what we're working with. We're gonna give it a taste test. Everything's so mushy. There's no texture to it at all. No, there is texture. It's just wet. I'm definitely not a fan of the falafel. Let me look at the inside. It's just mush. This one is pomegranate magic, pomegranate blueberries, and acai. Mmm, this has mango in it, but it tastes like it, it does. Mm, it doesn't. I could have some more of these Oh, I didn't turn the oven off. I'm gonna say that's it for tea because I feel sick. I'm gonna go drink my smoothie. I'm also gonna undo my pants because I'm very full. And then I might see you later in bed. Okay, so we're in bed. Um, I'm still drinking my smoothie. And for a late night snack, we have the pastels. We have a pack with just the berry flavour then. So I'm just gonna pick out the black currant ones. And we have Lauren in order. So, ready. Why do I always struggle opening packets? But yeah. This is my last purple food. I'm going to lie, eat my sweets, and watch Laura and Abba go to bed. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! In the criminal justice system, sexually based offences are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. stories.